Thank you. I appreciate the gentleman for yielding. And when I talk to my job creators uh, back in Wisconsin, never do they say we're, we're, we're leaving because of uh, the quality workers we have in this area. Actually, they say we have the, the hardest working, most productive, smartest workers right here in Wisconsin, um, right here in America. We don't leave because of our workforce. We leave because of the regulations that come from this town, the taxes that come from this town. And I think it's important. Again, that we continue to uh, look at that because, in the end, this doesn't hurt uh, businesses. It hurts families. We want to make sure we keep our families strong in America with plenty of opportunity. And uh, it, it makes me uh, think to the conversation that happened earlier about Medicare. And uh, we've heard a lot today with uh, our friends across the aisle demagoguing this uh, Medicare issue that, that the Republican Party wants to take away Medicare from our seniors. And I, I, that's, uh, that's absolutely <laughs> incorrect. We want to save Medicare. We want to make sure that we preserve it, that we save it, that we make sure that our seniors, that they get everything that they bargain for, and that we make sure we have a Medicare plan that's in place for future generations. And when I hear uh, my, my friends across the aisle talk about Medicare, I, I scratch my head because uh, they're the only ones who ever cut it. In, in, in PAPACA, the health care reform bill, Ob Obamacare, uh, they take $500 billion out of Medicare. As, as I talk to seniors around my district, one of the things that make them so angry is that their Social Security Trust Fund has been raided for decades. And now the president and the Democrats have raided the Medicare fund as well. I find that to be absolutely unacceptable. And then you add on top of that the IPAB board, the Independent Payment Advisory Board. This is a board that is going to look at Medicare reimbursement rates. And what they're going to do is lower reimbursements on certain procedures. And, and Medicare reimbursements are already so low, you reduce them even further, you're going to start to see doctors and hospitals stopping uh, providing those services to our seniors. And so in the end, this IPAB board is going to impact access to care for our current seniors. That is absolutely unacceptable. We have to keep the promise to our current seniors, but also make sure we reform it for future generations so it's saved. I mean, the president has come out and said, we need to reform it. Well, okay, Mr. President, let's reform it, but let's make sure we do it in a way that preserves the benefits for our current retirees and those who are about to retire, and make sure those who might have a different program have enough time to plan the retirement around the new changes. That's exactly what we do. But to demagogue this issue uh, and, and our party for trying to fix this, the, this great program, um, I, I just, uh, I, I struggle with that. I just, uh, I think it's uh, misrepresenting the American people about where we stand. I appreciate the gentleman raising.